I'm Colonel Susie Scott, Deputy Commanding Officer at Madigan Army Medical Center. Ever since I was a kid, I've been fascinated with how things work. I always want to look under the lid to see what's going on. Being a colonel here at Madigan affords me the opportunity to see behind the scenes of a big medical center. You would be amazed at how cool it is. Today I'm exploring blood. We've all seen the medical shows and heard news of natural disasters and accidents and know that blood is a lifeline. But how is blood ready for use here? Want to come see how Madigan works? As you can imagine, it starts with someone offering their arm. The Armed Services Blood Bank Center Pacific Northwest is the only military blood supplier in the Northwest. It conducts drives collecting blood that it then supplies to the area military hospitals as well as the armed forces for use worldwide. Look for them and donate if you can. It doesn't take too long. They'll have you fill out a form, answer some questions about your health history, and relax for about 10 minutes while you make an impact on someone's life. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you, ma'am? Great. This is Staff Sergeant Aubrey Hamilton. He's a non-commissioned officer in charge here at the Blood Bank Center. Can you tell us a little bit about the operations here, please? Yes, ma'am. I know you donated with us before, so you may recognize the things that are going on behind me. Uh, but here at the Armed Services Blood Bank Center, we are um, the, one of the largest military whole blood collection facilities, um, supplying local military facilities and operations downrange. Um, we normally do two to three drives a week, uh, 10 to 12 a, a month normally, uh, ranging from as far north as Naval Air Station Woodby Island and as far south as the Presidio, Monterey, California. We're tri-service, so you'll see Army, Navy, Air Force, and Army Reserves here in addition to civilians. That's great. Now can you walk us through donation and the processing you do to prepare blood for use? Yes, ma'am. When we collect blood from our generous donors, we consider the various components and what those components are used for. Do you know your blood type, ma'am? A positive. If you are O, positive or negative, we could use that for anybody. In emergency situations downrange, they use it in times where they don't have enough time to determine the blood type of the patient. So those types we use as whole blood and we keep it in the fridge when available to ship out. Now for other blood types, we spin those bags of blood in one of our centrifuges to separate the red blood cells from the plasma, which the red blood cells are heavier and will separate to the bottom and the plasma to the top. Once those components are separated, we squeeze the bag to remove the plasma into its own bag. In rather general terms, the red blood cells are used to oxygenate the body. Plasma is used as a blood product expander, a hydrator, if you will, and for nutrition. For now, we'll store them in a refrigerator. Later, the plasma will go into a deep freezer. You may have noticed when we collect your blood that we draw a bit into a vial that we package with other samples collected that day and send them out for testing. We're looking for diseases, HIV, hepatitis, and things of that sort. If we find any, we'll destroy that unit. The whole blood will also be screened for antibodies that can be carried. These develop as a response to a previous exposure and possibly generations back. These can result in a transfusion reaction in the person receiving the blood. Hi, how are you? This is definitely more complex than the regular mobile blood donor process. I recognize apheresis. Can you tell us a little bit about this process and why it's so important? Yes, ma'am. As you know, when our body is cut, we stop bleeding due to the blood clots. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the platelets, which are small cells within our body, that form those clots. A person can have a low platelet count because they are fighting an illness like cancer, or a condition like hemophilia can have the same effect. A transfusion of platelets can really boost their healing ability. This process takes longer since we are only going after the platelets in the blood. We will hook the donor up to a machine that draws a certain amount of blood out and filters the platelets out of it. The plasma and the red blood cells are returned back to the body. It takes more time, so it is a bigger commitment for the donor, and we only do it here at the donor center. 
Just like the other components, this is tested, logged, labeled, checked, double checked, triple checked, and properly stored, packaged for shipment, all to ensure that it is safe to transfuse to the patient in need. Thank you, Sergeant Hamilton. And thank you to your team for the truly life-saving work that you do. Every drop counts. Yes, ma'am. Every drop counts. If you'd like to donate, contact the Armed Services Blood Program at the website on your screen. Thanks for joining me. Next time I'll show you how some other part of Madigan works.